Florida's governor declared a state of emergency on Wednesday amid torrential rain and life-threatening flooding. Communities across South Florida were inundated with high water, leaving drivers stranded and roads submerged. In Hallandale Beach, one man was seen kayaking among cars as high waters flooded parts of the city. The downpour breaking records. Fort Lauderdale experiencing a top 10 all-time wettest day, getting drenched Wednesday with about a month's worth of rainfall. Sarasota set a new record Tuesday for the most precipitation in one hour, seeing 3.93 inches of rain between 7 and 8 p.m. Throughout the whole day, Sarasota saw almost a month's worth of rainfall. And it wasn't just precipitation. There was also an EF1 tornado in Martin County, north of West Palm Beach. Meanwhile, in the western U.S., more than 20 million people were under heat alerts Wednesday. High temperatures set to ramp up from the plains to the east coast on Thursday, with several cities expected to see the hottest day of the year so far. For much of the Gulf Coast, southeast and mid-Atlantic, it will be even hotter on Friday and Saturday. Meanwhile, severe thunderstorms are expected across the Midwest Thursday, possibly including isolated tornadoes. I'm Reed Binion reporting.